What I love about speaking is uh, I feel like I've done so many things in my career over the last 32 years that I can speak on several things. I always want to give somebody a nugget before I leave to make sure that I've done the best job I can do. And if I don't get a standing ovation, I don't feel like I succeeded. I've spoke to hundreds of through 32 years, uh, you know, all the way from Chrysler to, to TCF Bank to, uh, you know, you name it, I pretty much have done it. And uh, I've done anything from, you know, relating what we do in football, which football is a you know, big time business now, and relate that to, to uh, running companies, to talking to people that companies are way down and they need a boost. And I've been able to do that because I've taken programs uh, that have not been very good and we've rebuilt them. Uh, certainly have talked a lot about leadership. You know, I've had a lot of requests on, you know, hey, coach, tell us what you're doing and what we can implement and what we're doing. When we talk about employees and, and people that you bring into your organization uh, to help it be better, it, it can't be good unless you're able to get good employees. We can't win in football unless we recruit good players because I uh, always said good players make you good coaches or CEOs and same with employees. So, you know, the process is not a whole lot different, but you've got to do a great job of recruiting people that have the passion that you have towards the company you're running. Same way if you're at Target and you're hiring an employee, hey, do you have passion for what the position we're going to put you in? Because I firmly believe that not everybody's the right fit for each organization. You know, and as a CEO, whether it's a company or a football coach, you've got to recruit employees that fit into your beliefs and your mission and what you want to do. How I retain them is you treat them right. There's nothing better. I mean, you know, they need to see the CEO. They need to see the boss. It's amazing when you can walk by and you tell an employee, hey, you did a great job. If you treat people right, it don't matter what you do, if you treat people right, and you do a good job recruiting the people into your company, you're going to be successful. When we talk about teamwork and, uh, and relating it to a company and football, you know, in football, you know, we talk about this all the time. You know, it's not about one person. It's about the team. But once you can sell the team concept and you get everybody involved understanding that, if the team is winning and is successful, everybody gets rewarded. No different than a company, you're gonna get rewarded more if we work together as a team. My whole life I've taken broken down football programs. You know, I was never the big enough name to go to, you know, the high level, big time program that doesn't have to be built. I've always taken things that were broken and people that were broken down and, you know, and discouraged and I think that when you speak to those people and you speak to the higher level people you got to change that culture well to me you make up with that with hard work and a team that's willing to to do whatever it takes and i always say if you care about the person next to you more than you care about yourself better things happen you do the same thing with a broken down company you're sitting there you're laying off people it's a struggle you know sometimes in the worst of times is when you could make the biggest difference. Now, as you're in business or football, you're always looking for new ideas and you gotta stay ahead of things. But the core principles of your company or your team have gotta be the same. And when the company's down, there's not a better time to change the culture. You'll never have reached the full potential of what you can do. You know, the CEO of that company has gotta to continue to, to explore that vision and okay, we've done great, but it's not good enough. We're gonna take it another level. We're gonna stay on top of our competition. We've been the best the last 20 years and we're gonna be the best the next 10 years. But these are some things that we're gonna to have to do to stay on top. And the only way we're gonna be able to do that is with motivated people that wanna be the best. I was diagnosed with uh, epilepsy here 10, 12 years ago. Uh, I've been on the biggest stage of college football. Uh, I've been on national news from all over the country about uh, me collapsing on a football field and uh, having the situation that uh, I eventually retired. It's easy for me to talk about 
handling adversity. It's been a thing where I've been able to take a personal experience, a personal attack, and turn it into a positive and get a chance to tell my story uh, as a patient, so to speak. And uh, in the same way with cancer, I've been, I'm a can uh, cancer survivor. All those things, when you have actually had them, you can really tell people about handling them and handling adversity. Life is short and uh, we're all gonna have problems, we're all gonna have adversity. And I always said, when your back's against the wall, you find out who you are, who you really are.